All right, everybody, welcome back to Black Wolf Gaming. As usual, I'm your host, Sir Wolf, and welcome back to Brick Rigs and our weird and wonderful uh, series where we take a look at just really cool builds. And today I've actually got one sort of of my own. Um, if you were a kid in the mid 90s, it's going to be late, late 90s to mid 2000s, um, you're probably very familiar, of course, with Legos. Well, if you were really into building blocks like I was, then you're probably also familiar with Mega Blocks. And Mega Blocks, for a long time, had a series out. Um, they might still put out one every so often, but for a while there, they had a really good series they called Pro Builder. And Pro Builder was more generally more realistic uh, sets. They were. Well, they were they were the kind of set that you made and put up on a shelf. You didn't really play with the Pro Builder set, and they had all kinds of stuff. They had uh, M1A2 Abrams, they had M2A3 Bradleys, they had F16s, they had what they called a Stealth Jet, which looked kind of like just a black Harrier. Uh, they had dune buggies, motorcycles, monster trucks. They had all kinds of things, and they ranged from you know just pretty small to like, I think the biggest one that I ever saw, and it might be the biggest one they ever put out to, was the USS Kitty Hawk, a carrier. Um, I had that, by the way. It was a phenomenal build. Um, but, like I said, they put out all kinds of cool things. Well, one thing they put out was the, obviously this was after 2007. This was, it was the 2007 Ford Focus World Rally Championship car. The stand it's on is actually me. That was actually something I went ahead and built because I didn't like the. I didn't want to just have it sitting there. I thought it would look good up on a stand and with lights that turn on at night. And it just looks cool. Um, but the the kit came with a lot of custom parts um, that I had to replicate. So if you had this when you were a kid, would take a closer look at it, and you're looking at it going, "That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong." I'm I'm doing this in video game. Come on. Give me some slack. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll take a closer look at this, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the Ford Focus. All right, so here is a close-up, a little bit more of a close-up, of the uh, of the build itself. Um, the actual one came with decals and stuff like that with actual sponsors, and I don't want anybody getting angry with me. So I went ahead and changed up the sponsors just a little bit. Um, I will be putting this up on the workshop, and I'll actually have that all blanked out um so that if you want to put your own in there you can i just wanted to throw up a little just to make it look a little nicer um but we've got the driver's side we've got the front end the um lights do all work uh they do have working headlights which in the build itself was actually just decals um we've got the back end we've got the spoiler which in my build doesn't really do anything um i will include the uh the license plate again it'll be blank when you see it but this way you can go ahead and put your one i you know whatever you want i just wanted to put something on there um inside is pretty detailed we've got drivers the, the driver's seat <laughs> we've got the steering wheel some pedals shifter um where i'm sitting is where the driver goes it's the guy who actually navigates if you don't know anything about rally cars and over here in the passenger side is actually the, what's called the co-driver and the co-driver uh does a lot of the navigating now one thing that I learned about rally racing from someone in my family is the code driver has a map. Now, this part I actually knew is that you, know, you have the code driver calling out thing, calling out turns, but the there is a specific um, language used, and that is if you're coming up to a turn, say the one up here, this might be a two left or two left long. Um, another one. Uh, if it's uh, if it's really tight, might be a uh, a five right blind. Now, what that means basically, the number tells the driver how steep that turn is going to be. Um, you know, a one is a long, very gentle curve. Two is a little bit more curved. Three, four, five, six. Then you have hairpin and I think hairpin. Yeah, I think the hairpin doubles back on itself. And you've also got different uh, other different thing uh, other different code words like um, five uh, five right blind narrows. Well, that tells the driver now that coming up is a sharp turn, 
to the right. It's going to be easy to miss, and it's going to be a very narrow squeeze, like one one car width wide. It might be go- it's like the difference going from like a a two lane to a one lane road, you know, uh, or uh, a, a a three left opens. Well, that's a fairly general. Don't have to slow down as much. It's going to go to the left, and it's going to open up. You know, be nice and wide when you get through it. And that was something I learned about about rally racing. I did not know before, but I thought that was kind of cool. So the Ford Focus rally car is based on the road car. Um, but there are certain differences uh, in the engine, suspension, tires. This one has a roll ca- or the axle version has a roll cage, so on, so on, so forth. But it's meant to more or less represent the road car. So the Ford Focus RS World Rally Championship 2007 uh, has a ni- uh, 1,998 cc Pipo built Duratec engine f- with four cylinders, 16 valves, a bore of 85 millimeters, stroke of 88 millimeters. It has 300 brake horsepower at 600 RPM, 550, and I'm probably going to get this right, get this wrong. Uh, Newton meters, I think is what that is, and I'm at 4,000 4, RPM. Uh, four, it's all-wheel drive. Um, it's got front uh, front and rear McPherson struts, and then a whole lot of other stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a uh, put a link with the actual stuff down at the bottom. Um, it's got disc brakes, hydraulic handbrake, power steering, and a lot of other stuff that that I'm really not going to get into. Uh, it's overall, the actual vehicle has an overall length of 4,362 meter, mill, mill, millimeters, a width of 1,800 millimeters, a wheelbase of 2,640 millimeters, and a weight of 1,230 kilograms minimum. Now, this version up on the screen is significantly larger. Uh, it's in fact, its weight is actually around 45,000, I think, kilograms. Um, but it is, it does go, it does drive, it is, it steers, drives for, forward, backward, shifts, all that kind of fun stuff, and I'll be demonstrating that for a second on this course, and if you guys want, if you guys want to download it, there will be a link down in the description because I will be putting up the workshop. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into driving this thing. Alright, here we are. We are in the car, so I'll show you guys it will drive. Good shot, chip, wood. <laughs> I didn't say it drove well. Um, uh, it does drive though. Whee! And I'm sure someone out there who's a much better driver in video games than I am would probably make this thing much better. But I just want to show you guys. Like I said, it does it does go. It's actually not that hard to control. I might have to adjust the power. To Ah, uh, yeah, bet. Bob survives. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is the Ford 2007 Ford Focus World Rally Championship Pro Builder set. Um, I did have to make a few changes. Uh, like I said, there was a few blocks that are custom made for the set itself. I didn't have access to, so I kind of had to kind of had to fudge them a little bit um the hood in the actual set opens and closes i could not make that happen here i had collision issues where every time i spawn the car in it just spun off into the ether somewhere and exploded and i went you know what that's okay we don't really need a we don't really need the hood to open or close um but if you guys are interested in downloading this it'll be down in the description down below uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget, there's a bunch of links down below for so, for social media, various social media things you could follow me on, and a Discord if you want to go ahead and hop in the Discord and chat with me. Uh, I'm always looking for new people to join. We we are we are a great little group of potatoes. And if you join, you'll get your own, you'll earn your own potato name. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope you had fun. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all again in the very next episode. And if I'm gonna make you guys a deal, if this can get a hundred likes, I'll build one of the much more complex. Uh, complex uh, sets. If it doesn't get 100 likes, well, I'll still be building a few other sets. There's a few others I would like to buy that have, people have actually requested that I build. So, uh, thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you had fun, and I'll see all of you again in the very next episode.